All right, so for this one, um, they're asking, so they have two different, there are three different types of protons, um, and they want you to think about what is the most shielded or de-shielded. So de-shielded, of course, means farther downfield, so a higher PPM. Um, and, you know, you've been using your tables, but some of the stuff you kind of got to just, you also should just kind of know, especially these ones. So aldehyde CHs, right, the H on an aldehyde or the H of a carboxylic acid, the, the H there, are way, way downfield. Those are like 10 to 12. Aldehydes are like 9. Carboxylic acid, OH, that is just really far downfield. These are just kind of regions you need to know. The aromatic ring region, right, it's from 6.5 to 8.5. That's where Y would be at. And then the benzylic region right here is right around 2.5 to 1.5. So the most deshielded is the aldehyde. Next is the aromatic hydrogen, Y, and then X. And then when you look at sampling, you get, you just, I mean, I, I, how you do these homework, how you do multiple choice problems is come up with your answer, write it down, and then go look for the, make sure, see if your answer is there, right? Classic mistake for multiple choice questions is you look at the answers first. If you have no idea how to do the problem, look at the answers. But if you do have an idea about stuff, don't look at the answers. The answers will confuse you, especially like these kind of problems where it's like, what's greater than and like X, it's a miss it's a mess it just they draw we we make you make these questions to be confusing the answers are confusing on purpose the whole goal is for you to do the problem first then go look for your answer aldehydes carboxylic acids way de shielded 9 to 12 aromatic rings 6.5 to 8.5 uh, benzylic positions right next to a pi bond 2.5 to 1.5 so just kind of know those things um, a little bit and you'll be fine Sorry, I forgot to say that was number 28.